this one was leaking out. Huh. Wonder if that wasn't tight enough. Or if that comes from my my wheel cylinder. Well, that could be my problem. Yeah, because that's coming from inside the wheel. Or inside the drum. Inside the hub. It's not coming from the bleeder valve. So, I'm assuming that with that pressure, it just pushed it out there. Because it shouldn't, it shouldn't push out anywhere. Except for where we opened up the bleeder valve. Well, you don't need to keep bleeding the brakes if he found it leaking somewhere. That's why it's nice to pressurize your brake brake lines to see if it leaks anywhere. That's probably why it wasn't coming out very much pressure over there either, because it was releasing it out of here. I don't change the wheel cylinder on there. Oh, I think that's what it is. All right, I was bleeding my brakes and. Brake fluid started coming out of the bottom of that drum on the back side. So, I'm gonna check my wheel cylinder. I've already chalked my front tire, put it in gear, pull the e brake, chalk it. A little family down there, family of worms. Yeah, this car's been sitting here for a little while. <laughs> I guess that means I have tread. If worms can fit in the tread tread marks. Can't have that with a ball tire. Saving the animals. I have three lug nuts. I lost the other one. I need to get it. Get it. From the junkyard. Uh, take this cap off. You can chalk your, uh, put a jack stand up. I like to live on the edge. If I was under it, I'd put a, a jack stand under it. Sometimes they're notched. I don't know if I can't remember if this one is or not. Yep, that works. Channel locks. The cotter pin in here. Take this cotter pin off. Pin. This nut, uh, cap, and this nut. Oh, that was a little too loose. I think you want it tight, but not too tight that it's binding. stuff in there, all the bearings and everything. I'm gonna hit the brakes real quick and see if it comes down. <sighs> Just pumping the brakes. See if fluid comes out of here at all. Drip. Yeah, it's dripping out. It's dripping down right here. Yeah, it's coming out right there. You can see it in here, it's squishing. 
So, yeah, that whole that whole thing should be in. I think like this side maybe. Yeah, it's leaking out of there. So I think I need a new new master cylinder or wheel cylinder. There's a way to take this off without taking all the shoes off. Maybe it's this spring right here. All right, got a needle nose and I got a little angled pick here. Oh, let's see if we can get, I think just this spring needs to come off maybe to be able to get the cylinder off. that spring off. Okay, that can move over and out. I'm gonna take off the brake line. All right, I've got brake line, wrenches, flare wrenches, whatever they're called. These help a lot. Take off the brake line on the back here. Maybe it's standard. Try the 11 again. Okay, you want to go this way. Okay, got it. Take this brake line off. It's going to leak fluid. Um, so I have a funnel. And a bottle down here. I'll probably reuse this because I've bled these brakes a lot, and so it's pretty much all really clean at this point. Try five. So now I'm removing the Allen heads on the back that hold the master or the wheel cylinder. Ah, oh, yep, they're good. Can't really see, but. There's two Allen. It's a size five millimeter. Remove these. Uh. Okay, got one out. Got the second one out. Yeah, I should be able to get that out. All right, so I'm gonna pull over on that, push in on that, if I can pull it out. There we go, sweet. And take the bleeder off. I'll leave that on for now. So this, I don't know. I don't know if this boot just got, it's on the wrong side or, I probably just need a new one. All right, I have my wheel cylinder locally for the rabbit, so I'm gonna run grab it. Notches are in the wrong place. All right, you can just rotate them. Okay, I'm just gonna rotate these notches. So they're the same. Those were like that. That's good. Let's put this guy back on. Alright, 
push in on the sides. All right, take a little plug out in the back. There it goes. I'll put this brake line back on. I know it's been leaking. All right, tightening up this brake line on the back on the new wheel cylinder. Got it hand tight, so I know it's not cross threaded. Um, yeah, I leaked a lot out here. Oops. Let's get that somewhat snug, and then I'll tighten down the wheel cylinder. All right, and these two Allen bolts going back. Start those by hand. Okay, got that one started. Let me do the other one. This is a five millimeter hex key, Allen key. I guess I'm not saving the animals. That worm looked like it died from the brake fluid. Got them pretty snug. Okay, yeah, that's plenty. Got my bleeder on here. It didn't come actually with a little cap, a little rubber cap for the bleeder. Maybe use that, I don't know. Hey, yeah, look at that. Maybe I'll use that thing. <laughs> okay, I gotta bleed it though. Okay, then I'm gonna put this spring back on. Let's see if I can get it. With this pick. There we go, sweet. Spring is on. I think everything's tight. Check the uh, check this brake line one more time. Make sure it's tight. Yeah, it's tight. I'm gonna pump the brakes to see if it's leaking. Cause last time when I pumped them, it started leaking slowly, but I could see it. The pedal actually might be getting firmer. I mean, I don't have to bleed them, but... Okay, pumped it a lot, let's see. Is it leaking anywhere? Before it was leaking right here. Doesn't seem to be leaking there anymore. Doesn't seem to look leak out of the brake line in the back. All right, well, when I bleed them, I'll be able to tell for sure it's leaking. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably leave that off while I bleed them. Basically to finish it, put this back on, just like that, how it was. It's notched, it's notched on here. If you look, there's a little notch right there. That goes in this slot right here. There's a kind of a slot on your axle. Throw that on, and then it's your nut. And the nut you tighten tight to where it's binding, and then back it off a little bit so it's not binding. And then it's your cap, and then it's your cotter pin, and then it's your wheels. And that's it. That's how you do a wheel cylinder on a, this is an 83 Volkswagen Rabbit diesel. Hopefully to have brakes that work. Like and subscribe. Phew.